Oh, what's going on guys? Another video for you today. Uh, this video is for newcomers. Let's say uh, I really wanted to make a video based on this is your first time doing a festival, you have no friends, and you just want to get into it and you just don't know how to do it. So I recommend if you're new to it, you go to Music Festival Wizard. That on there you can go through, it'll show you uh, the date it is, it'll show you uh, where it is, how many days it is, which I already said that. Um, and what the festival name is. So I went through, I went through Music Wizard and I was acting like I was doing this for the first time. So and pretty much I just wanna show like what steps I take in order to find that. So I went on and I found Country Boom. Never heard of it, definitely not working out. So let's see. So Country Boom is from July 13th through 15th, which is a Thursday through Saturday. Um, interesting usually it's friday through sunday or thursday through sunday sometimes saturday sunday sometimes friday saturday this is interesting so it's in west salem wisconsin population five thousand so it's in the middle of nowhere it's in the boonies but it is um it's like even amount of time between like minneapolis green bay and madison so i guess it's like a little central point so i guess people in may i always check to see like what major cities are around and what like airports are because people are coming from out of town I'm, I'm trying to like look at the clientele that's going to show up for this so it's a country festival traditionally country is okay decent money whatever whatever um but i do look on location so first thing i saw was the days that it was thursday through saturday now the next step that you want to take is see where it was as i did and I saw where it was located, so it's in the middle. So I also go back on the music um, music wizard, and I want to see like what it, what else is going on. Oh, and I found something. I found a rock fest Wisconsin that is in Cadet, which is an hour and a half away from Country Boom. So now it's like okay, now this festival is competing with another festival. Now it's like okay, now I got to see like if that's going to affect my money or not. So Salem, Wisconsin has good uh, good weather. It's a high of 84 in July, low of 60. Seven days of rain out of the month, so you got good possibility of not getting rain, good weather for this type of festival. Uh, th 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 I would go on the try. I went on the traveling bartender page and I looked in the search bar and I didn't find anything on Country Boom at all, like nothing. There's no, all I saw was Barefoot, I saw Georgia, I saw um, Carolina, I didn't see anything about Country Boom that's like, like so no bartenders that i know have worked it so that means that no one's gonna be traveling out there to do it uh, like i said this is for someone that's doing this completely alone for the first time and you don't know anybody and this is a festival that you really want to work so i would su suggest as a first timer never drive more than 10 hours to a festival or pay more than 200 dollars in a round trip ticket that's just my personal preference i don't think that any festival is really worth worth that Unless you worked it before, you know it's good money, then I would spend a little bit more because you kind of have an estimate of what you're gonna make. Let's see. The lineup was a little iffy. I did look at the lineup on here. The lineup was, let's see. So you got Jody Messina, the Pat Waters Band, Blue Collar 40, Kit Moore, Dylan Scott, Warren Zeters, the only person on here that I actually know is I've heard of Larry Feet, Fleet, and I've heard of Dustin Lynch. Now I've, I don't know any of their music, but I've heard their name. It's like even if you don't, uh, even if you don't listen to EDM music, you know who um, Dead Mouse is. You know who Marshmello is. At the very least, you know what their face looks like. You know you don't listen to rap music, you still know who Ice Cube and Eminem are. So kind of the same situation. So I always look at the lineup. The good thing is that this isn't a very popular lineup. I do like that, mainly because, you know, if you have uh, like Morgan Wallen, um, Luke Bryan, you, know, you got like those mainstream names, you're gonna have like a lot of kids that show up and I don't, I don't want kids at these festivals. I want like, you know, I want like 25 to like 60 year olds that like, you know, they're gonna give me like a lot of good money and they're gonna drink. So there's that. Um, so when I go on here to try to apply for, you click on the three bars at the top and you click on contact. And that's how the majority of festivals are. It gives your name, email, name, uh, what's, what's it regarding, uh, pre-sale general questions is what I'm gonna click on because I'm not anything about related to my order or sponsorship. So what I would do is I would click the general questions in that little box right there. I have a blurb on my phone what I send out. 
pretty much I would just, in that blurb, I would just say, um, I would just say, hi, my name is Kevin. I am a traveling bartender. I've been doing this for so and so years. I have uh, many experience. I have worked this, 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 and this. I would uh, love to come up there and help work this festival. Um, please reach out to me at your earliest convenience. I submit that. Sometimes they have their emails on here. It's easier to contact their email. Uh, so the good thing about this one, the reason why I chose this one as an example, because it's two months out. I always want to make sure that the festival is at least two months out when I do my research on it. If it's a brand new one, um, I don't contact anyone until like it's about like a month and a half. They start staffing around a month. So I would say if you don't hear anything within two weeks, you're probably not going to hear anything at all. Let's see. So there's that. Uh, it does accept uh, tip certification, so which is good. You don't have to worry about spending more money to um, for like a Wisconsin specific uh, alcohol certification. So out of everything that I saw, everything that I'm kind of like guesstimating how much it's going to cost to get there, it's going to vary from where you live. Um, population, what kind of lineup it is, where it's at, uh, possible weather. I would guesstimate making between $800 and $1,200 in perfect weather, you know. That's, um, if I did decide personally, if I decided to work that, that's what I would guesstimate how much I would make between 800 and 1200 for three days. Um, not a lot when you compare it to other things, but depending on where you live, I mean, a high of $1,200 for working three days at a music festival is actually not bad. It's like, you know, 400 bucks a day. So it's good money, but you know, a lot of us try to aim for the 2000 plus range when, we, when it comes to uh, looking for, for events. Uh, if you have any questions on any events, though, I have no problem like walking through the process on how to find information on it because a lot of the time you don't need to ask any questions on these pages. A lot of times you just look up what festival you want to work, look in the traveler search bar, and then you just do your own research. I mean, it's pretty simple. Type it in online on Google. It'll show you like the contact information. You type in how much plane tickets are, see if any of your friends are working it. I mean, Pretty, uh, pretty simple stuff. And I did time myself to see how uh, how long it took me to find all this information out. It took me, ooh, where's that? It took me 11 minutes and 19 seconds to find all that information. Now, obviously, I know what I'm looking for. So I would say the average person would probably take about 25, 30 minutes if you don't know what you're looking for. But yeah, I've done it so much that it's uh, it took me about 11, 11 and a half minutes to figure that out. But yeah, if you have any questions, uh, let me know.